Gemini. We had jamming this morning. Let me turn this down. Welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. I hope you are having a great Gemini season. Can you believe we are about halfway through it already? <laughs> More than halfway. Ugh. We actually only have, this is our second to last full week of the season. Before you know it, I'll be doing Gemini Cancer Cusp reading slang and I'm even more than I usually am because that time of year is coming. Gemini, if you are one of my returning fellow Gem Gems, thanks for coming back. I hope you've been enjoying all the different Gemini readings that I've been putting out. Uh, Gemini Cancer Cusp, May Gemini, June Gemini. <laughs> um, um, I've been having a fabulous Gemini season like I really can't complain and even the things that are to complain about I just refused to um, let it bother me maybe there's another Gemini there who's in that kind of zone too of like not letting much bother them literally even saying to people like life is precious Life is too short. Um, maybe you've experienced loss um, in your life, like you've seen loved a uh, loved one pass on. Maybe someone has had specifically been diagnosed with something that had them in the hospital that had you um, just looking at life differently. But um, there is something to, there is a Gemini who I am in tune with and I got all this just from looking out the window and seeing on this bright, beautiful day, this couple walking all in black, covered up. He had on a winter hat. And I was thinking, as I'm connecting it all right before the reading, I'm like, that's the Gemini. The Gemini is opposite of their environment. If your environment is like a... Uh, jail like a federal prison it's typically a dark gray lot of negative emotions environment and somehow there is a Gemini energy here that walks in glowing um, you just are opposite of your surroundings if you are walking into a little dive biker bar where everybody's in their Harley jackets, drinking dark liquor, listening to the music, and you can hardly see anybody because it's so dark in there. You're the one in the nice bright top with the bright smile that um, you fit in, but you are opposite everything and everyone around you. I hope that makes sense because it really came to me this morning. Um, you are a gem. J-E-M, and as soon as I wrote down Jem, I thought of my second cousin, Jem, Gemma, who I was with yesterday, and I was thinking like how she is such a gem, and she brings so much love, her and her brother bring so much love and sister into the w lives of the people um, that know them. And um, I connect it all. I'm connecting, I'm connecting. I'm like, there's a Gemini out there that is a real gem in the, in the, to your family. It's like, you're a real gem to your family. You're a gem to the people who meet you. Like, you give great big smiles. You're so warm. You give off this warm energy. I'm even thinking behind a mask, there is a Gemini here who still manages to give off a warm energy to someone that makes them feel comfortable, no matter what you look like, Gemini. <clears throat> it's the energy and the way you make people feel as they approach. Now, I, um, I noticed that today's date is 6-6, six, six. so that's two Geminis, two lovers. I'm even thinking of the cards now for... <laughs> oh 
this could be a Gemini that has like a um, a swinging couple or is used to in the past having um, it's like they and their partner had another partner that you all would swing with so it's like a, but it it was, was only with this other couple that you'd swing with getting a very bisexual vibe right now uh, I'm just seeing lots of, like a man and a woman and a man and a woman but a woman and a woman and a man and a man happy pride month I feel like I've been on a pride kick, but I think collectively it's pride time and month. Everybody's proud and sharing who they are even more. And, um, and it's just like, it's so, it's cool. Like, I mean, I don't know if, what it's like outside in other parts of the country, but in New England, pride month is a big to do around here. Like parties celebrities like oh shit there's there's a fucking parade going by my apartment <laughs> which i have written at the top from my aqua proud of yourself like maybe there's a gem out there <clears throat> and i feel like this is this is going to tie into identity and not sexuality there is a gemini out there who is proud of themselves <clears throat> who may be a very sexual person and is like okay and proud with that and it's like um um it has nothing to do with sexuality and yet everything to do with sexuality at the end of it but there's a gemini who's maybe loving love or just loving seeing everyone be so proud of who they love and who they're in love with <clears throat> So there were a couple cards that I saw as I was shuffling to Gemini. Um, <clears throat> my allergies have been bad. If you're another Gemini with bad allergies, let me know. I saw the Ace of Swords from my um, tattoo, the Eight Coins deck. I saw the Ace of Swords, which is a... Um, Shows the uh, male figure, and um, it looks like he's thinking. And then I saw the Eight of Wands, which is the communication card. I actually saw it twice while shuffling in two different decks, both in reverse. And all I could, I could literally just jot, draw it for you. It's someone thinking, like circle, circle, big circle. And in the big circle is the circles thinking about talking. Someone thinking about talking. I also got someone thinking about why someone isn't talking. Maybe you've blocked someone or someone blocked the communication and they're thinking about reaching out or, or they're thinking they can't reach out so they're just thinking about what they would say if they reached out or this is you thinking to them, uh, but it's like a thinking about talking. Maybe you're thinking about opening up to someone and um, I have a heavy feeling it could be another Gemini. You're desiring to just open up to them and um, kind of share what's been going on because I feel like something's been going on. How could you do that? You could have ghosted someone, Gemini, or someone who's already told you that you, sh you shouldn't do this, you can't do this. You could have ghosted someone, another Gemini, and there's a, you either want to reach back out and you're the one thinking about it, or it's like the person who's been ghosted is sitting there thinking about why they've been ghosted, um, how could you do that, 
um, you need to stop doing that and waiting for the person to waiting for the ghost to reach out <laughs> the ghost funny enough could be a Scorpio because I'm seeing a Halloween costume of a ghost and what would be a Gemini reading without Scorpio <laughs> You could have ghosted a Scorpio, or a Scorpio has ghosted you. I can't, look, and this is freaking why the ghosting goes down. This is why the ghosting goes down. Because they know that they can't manipulate you. Or you know that you can't manipulate this person. This person is very intelligent. This person um, <clears throat> is a bright light in the dark room. The fact that that's in highlighter, I'm just seeing it hearing highlight, it's like this person can highlight what you've said and it shows that you're either trying to lie or manipulate or it like somehow comes back to you realize you can't lie or manipulate because this person will highlight the things that you've said in the past, like will loop it back to things. too smart I'm reading that too and this gives me like um I hate to just say narcissistic because it's always the f it's like that toxic like the token words that are out there the hot words um there's a lot of noise This is why there's no talking. This is also why I'm seeing no talking, but someone is thinking about the talking. They've ghosted you, Gemini, or you ghosted them. However this resonates, I really like you and who you are at your core. Curious, which air sign. This could be a same sex friendship, relationship, Someone is thinking about you, what's been going on, like they care about you at your core, but there's something about the, uh, like someone not being able to be manipulated. And I get like this narcissistic of, uh, how could you not believe my bullshit? How could you not listen to my lies? You're, you're too smart. Wow. Waste of time. Maybe if someone feels like you've wasted their time. I really want to talk to you and get to know you. And it looks just like the writing here. This is how someone really actually feels, Gemini. And I feel like the other person is a flake. Someone is also more, <clears throat> someone is also healthier than the other one. Someone um, is, um, like their focus in life is on healthier things. Whereas the other person's focus is on um, more of um, feeding an ego, making sure they are seen, um, having a wild nightlife. Um, this is an up and down, but like black, black to bright orange to black, like those are mood swings I feel like I'm looking at in colors. And then the green and blue is like healthy, something like um, someone who was healthier, who put health first. They thought partying was a waste of time or they've grown to think that partying is a waste of time and money. This is kind of sad because I feel like these are two really good people and like I do think that they they're both intelligent, they both res 
there's a respect here to a certain degree, a respect that they can't play the other person because they're so smart. And, um, but it's like you keep going on this loop and loop that ends up being a waste of time when there's really two people here who actually, I care for you, like you more than you know. I really like you and who you are at your core. I really want to talk to you and get to know you. I don't, I don't think someone believes this though. Someone like maybe like just doesn't see themselves that way. Bullying due to issues and insecurities. Unexpected. Seeing the good in people, being naive, a sucker, duped. Lori Harvey energy. Wow, this is so interesting. Because the colors keep going back and forth between blue, orange, and black. And I'm hearing blue on black, that song, which I've mentioned in a reading before too. It might have been Scorpio reading, which of course it would fucking be a Scorpio reading. Because I just said blue, orange, blue, orange, black, and that sounds like blue on, blue on black, I think is the song. I also, Gemini here, see someone who is out of the closet and um, open with who they are. And I see someone who is not out of the closet, who um, manipulates and um, does whatever they do their rocks off that's not in a healthy manner it's like one part this person is just too healthy for the other mentally physically spiritually someone either has the energy of Lori this Lori Harvey energy of like I'll be with you and I'll use you for as long as there's something I'm getting out of it, which is just my perception of her, because that's the perception of her in the media. And then bounce from relationship to relationship. Someone may actually be like that, Gemini. <clears throat> and this is why things didn't work here, because they weren't able to lie and manipulate you to get what they wanted before they would move on. That bullying card is coming out to me too. I don't know where I had just seen that. Oh, at the end here. Um, this lying or manipulating is like, um, it is bullying. It's side comments. It's, um, someone, um, it's like someone's bullying is like a, such a, an ugly thing and it's like makes them ugly and or like you've seen them bullying or you they've viewed you as a bully and that they're just the view has changed they just don't see a healthy nice person they see someone who's um too smart to make themselves be that ugly with their bullshit There is a very purifying, um, healing love here that I don't think someone was prepared for or used to, or I'm even hearing like that they even wanted. 
It's like not knowing you wanted this energy until it was there and not even realizing an energy like this could even exist. This is so powerful. This is star energy to me. This is, um, cause I keep seeing the woman pouring the water over herself cause she's healing herself. She's cleaning herself. Um, and this love or this friendship or this energy would have been like a water clearing over the person. It would have helped get rid of the unhealthiness, the toxicness. Um, but someone like can't handle that. It's like too much because of their own shit, their own darkness inside of them. And now I'm hearing, oh, this is like, now I'm hearing like Box of Rain by Grateful Dead in my, he in my head. Like, it's like someone saying like, okay, well, if you need the help, my, the help is here. I'm just going to leave this help for you. So need it, use it if you need it. Because they don't want their time wasted anymore. I'm getting like choked up right now. This is so sad slash sweet slash where the hell did all this information come from slash i only did one reading yesterday and then spent the rest of the day outside in the woods at a relative's house and uh i feel like it's gotten my uh my juices flowing As always, please let me know if it resonates. Gemini. I'm looking at my shirt and I'm thinking with my busy calendar coming up, could be a Gemini out there who feels like they're juggling a bunch of stuff just within the past two weeks. Um, I mean, it's graduation season, it's recital season, it's softball tournament season, it's baseball season, it's um, prom season, it's um, graduation party season, like a big culmination, like big endings. Well, we ended Taurus season. <laughs> The Hierophant Reverse, which that would be an ending, could be with someone. Three of Cups. Yikes. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Three of Wands. The Sun Reversed. I keep feeling like there's something here about, I'm sorry about the buzzing, but what can you do? So I don't even know why I'm apologizing. Um, there's something here about, I feel like um, two people who are very, very similar. Maybe this is like this double Gemini or it could be another Gemini this is the this is the not talking heavy this could be another Gemini you're not talking to and like they were really thinking about you and um, I feel like they're thinking there's someone thinking about the good times here and they're also wondering what has come in between the two people. Like what was the, what ended our friendship, relationship, our, um, I'm hearing like even association, like it wouldn't be an association, association though with the Hierophant then. So maybe it's someone you've met at work or someone you've, met through church or even um this could be your kids school or church activities like for a first communion maybe even i 
I have a funny feeling this is someone who always thought very fondly and highly of you. Gemini Cancer Cusp? No, this is not Gemini Cancer Cusp. This is just Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with the Gemini Cancer Cusp. Gemini. Um, I feel like this is someone sitting and thinking about the good times together. Like when two people were like partners in crime. Like the Blues Brothers I'm seeing like feeling like you... Might not even just be two people, it could be a group of people thinking about the good times. And I feel like with that Knight of Pentacles here, it's a, uh, it's a, how can I get back to that? Like, how can I get back to, oh, now I'm here in Matchbox 20, get back to good. Someone could be a Matchbox 20 fan out there. Back to good. Ten of Pentacles. Someone is sitting thinking about the good times that they used to have when they were younger. When they felt like they had the world in the palm of their hands or this is someone who, all right, this could be, this could go back to what I was saying about to someone who doesn't think they're as good enough for the other person feeling like they didn't have everything all together. That's a fire sign, but uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy, but I feel like that um, King of Wands, <laughs> there's so much noise. That King of Wands, his world was on fire and going down and you, Gemini, or however you viewed, however this was, the other person had their whole world together. It looks like they had their life together. It, this could have been like their second lease at life too. Like that first time around, they had obstacles. This is their second time around. And while they were on their second time around at life and like finally got their world in control, they were able to see that this king's world was on fire and going down. And because they've already experienced what it's like to have a complete breakdown, meltdown of your world and life, they were actually able to help direct and talk to that king about life. There could be an age gap here between two people, but I, I feel like there's an experience gap here too. Because someone has had experiences and they've, they can help that king and give direction because they're watching the king go through things that they've been through. The, um, this is, I think, our king now. Could be a queen, single queen. Um, but I think this was this is someone now sitting back and thinking about the fond times, the memories they had in life. I have a heavy, um, not like non-committal, never got married vibe here. Fuck yes. Never took that dive to uh, a higher commitment. Never lived with someone maybe. Or maybe you're just not living with someone now, Gemini. I also think this is someone who's either made a decision that they do not want to get married or they uh it's almost even like unbeknownst to them they really do want to get married and they might also they might already be in a relationship that is leading to marriage because the four of wands is here and the hierophant is here with the fool and the fool and the hierophant in reverse i don't think these are bad things i think the shit hasn't happened yet it's like the building blocks of a relationship this is these are like the foundations being set two people wanting to, to start this, but I don't think you've discussed that you would like to start this. I don't think you know. Um, maybe this goes back to um, someone feeling like the other person has their um, life together or shit together in a way that they just don't.
Gemini, you could also be dealing with someone who, if they've told you they, they're they just not the committing type, they don't see themselves settling down. This could be you, Gemini. It's like someone needs to understand if this is the cross watcher that you will only get your heart hurt thinking that you can get this person to settle down and see a future with you because they've made it abundantly clear that they will always have more than one and they will be alone at the end of the day with family around but they see themselves as being non-committed and this is i just think anybody who tries to start a beginning with this person or i get this heavy like it's not anybody else but this person you could offer them the world you could offer them a silver platter like i just see someone offering like themselves like to move forward to give commitment and it's like it's not um it's not your fault that they don't they just don't want it. They don't want commitment. They want to be singular. Maybe someone here knows that they're very selfish and they don't want to have to give to more than themselves. So I don't know. This is also, I think, um, with the fool and the chariot reverse, like someone wanting a beginning somewhere or thinking a beginning is going to get off the ground and it didn't or doesn't someone thinking they were going to have um even just a weekend away trip and the end is it ends up being canceled and that's like real, a bummer to someone i feel like there's someone here too um wow this is so Queen of Pentacles reverse. Someone here like really, it's kind of sad. I don't know if it's because they've had their heart broken so badly before. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Hanged One. It's like they do not want to be stuck tied to anybody. They do not, I feel like they may have had some bad, a really bad ending to a relationship or really bad endings in the past, like hurtful, harmful, and they just, Someone would rather just um, have casual fun than um, give like any part of themselves to someone that would lead towards a commitment. There's a heavy emphasis here, like the Ten of Pentacles is here twice. I have my two 10 pound weights right there. There's a heavy emphasis on maybe someone who's tried commitment in the past maybe they've gotten married and they were like you know what i'm never doing that again i just i see someone like worried about like if they got married like the money they would lose if they <laughs> if they got married um the devil capricorn energy the hermit that's virgo energy nine of wands reverse Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. All right, so this is what I just got. Um, <clears throat> someone is like, uh, this is, it's gonna sound weird, but it's like they are unhealthily obsessed with staying single and guarding their heart and telling whomever that I am only ever going to get married if it is the absolute right person for me. It has to be equally, I'm in love equally, the sex is phenomenal and the attraction is there. I will keep my options open and I am not settling. This is heavy making me think about a reading I did. I think it was Sagittarius where it was like, I um my next job or next relationship I am not 
um, it's like someone is done with love, done with commitment, done with relationships, unless I got one of those relationships where they say it's like super healthy in the streets and toxic as shit in the street. Oh no, wait, in the sheets and healthy as hell in the streets, whatever that is, you know, like we are awesome, it's wicked healthy connection and the sex is fire. Otherwise, I am staying very, very single. I uh, will have fun, but I am not, I'm not getting into it. I don't want a relationship. You know what's funny is I was gonna say, um, I feel like this is someone's attitude. Um, it could be who you were dealing with, Gemini, or this could have been your attitude where you were like, I'm gonna stay single forever and I'm just gonna protect myself and guard myself and save my money and I'm not gonna be with anybody because fuck them, I'm gonna have my money or whomever you're dealing with, this could be them. I feel like they think this is how they're going to be or they say this is how they're going to be and something or someone comes along and I feel like this is the person who changes for love because it's the right person and it's the right love because they become someone who is um goes from the king of wands reverse to the king of wands upright um wow four of wands reversed with the lovers i feel like there's a partnership here between two people who don't want to get married and like have have said like i don't want to get married i don't want to i want to be with someone but i don't want to be committed and somehow that like makes sense and works at the same time for these two people it's like you don't want to call this a relationship even though we're in love fuck yes that's what i'm getting Someone is like, let's not tell the world the damn thing. There's a strong connection here too. Someone builds the other person up. The, the person who is healthy, who is the Aquarius star energy, the water healing to the other one, is able to flip that King of Wands from reverse to upright. And I think it's that King of Wands who's been like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to be single forever. I'm going to be single, 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 single. And then all of a sudden, like, they meet a person who they, I feel like this is in reverse because this is the King of Wands who meets someone and is like, holy shit. Even though she's just a, like, a page of pentacles, so I could see that as wifey material right there. And that King of Wands morphs into... A gentle person of a um with manners and showing respect and wanting to give an offer to that empress because they think that this is their person even though or have identified this is their person because someone checks off all these boxes I feel like someone doesn't doesn't want to admit this they do not want to admit because I'm uh, this is like um This is so bizarre. I'm seeing someone who is a bachelor or bachelorette. Like, I'll be single. I don't need anybody. I'm going to do things on my own. And then they meet someone who is this breath of fresh air who is not a waste of time like the other ones. Or it's like I'm hearing like a... Um, post Malone spoil my night like go ahead and waste my time like what is that spin doctors if you want to like waste my time just go ahead now someone who's like happy to like spend their time 
gabbing, shooting the shit, talking to this other person, and it's been a very healing energy for them. You could be dealing with a Leo, but I think they they themselves have lev lived a life and believed that they would be an eternal single person, single female, single king for the rest of their life. And then it's like they find themselves kind of like changing or um, ready to give. They're like already giving their love and heart and world to this person who they identify as like being a divine counterpart who makes them feel really good and builds them up. And I don't even think the person who is this like healing water energy over the other they don't even realize it and I laughed before because the energy was like I'm seeing two people struggling in like shallow water and he's the more toxic one and he's like healing and she's the loving one and he's going like oh god I'm getting clean I'm like oh my god this is love like this is healing like and she just he's trying to pull away and she just like jumps on him and gets him all wet and like dunks him under the water of this healing. It's like a wave of healing on him. It's maybe this is no, someone you've known for a while and you're a wave of healing on them. And it, they can't lie or manipulate you. It's like they're saying stop no to the like healing because they're just, it's someone who's more comfortable being led by, um, having non-committal it's like someone who has been led by physical like lust and physical satisfaction could be even drinking or eating and they have not wanted to have emotions and it's like the emotions have been turned on have come alive there's been a spark sparked in them that they haven't felt in a long time and it's this person's like not happy to feel it not happy for the healing it's cute in the sense that like someone doesn't want to admit that they i care for you and like you more than you know wow i just saw the death card scorpio energy again and now here we have super scorpio this is scorpio with a water gun of love this is the healing the cha transformation, maybe you're changing a Scorpio Gemini or a Scorpio has changed you, but this could just be the actual symbolism of the death of the old and the beginning of a new with this healing. And there's that cup of water that someone is freaking <laughs> on someone's face. Have my fucking love. <laughs> And the hermit is still in reverse. Someone does not want to have to compete for another person, for this person. They think that there's competition. They feel like they, it's like I'm seeing uh, the, Gr the Grinch looking down at Whoville, trying to see who's fighting over Gemini or Gemini, this is you trying to look and see who's fighting over Virgo, but, um. I think um, someone doesn't realize like there's nobody else in the world. There's something to the hermit staying in and part of healing. Um, I think I may have mentioned someone gave up like going out and wilding. Um, someone has given up being led by lust and turned to being led by physical pleasures other than lust. What I mean by that is someone here is more interested in going and getting a massage. They're, they're interested in getting a pedicure. They're interested in eating fine dining. They're interested in um, scenting different new scents of cologne to find the best one. 
they're interested in going to the wine tasting from the grapes right off the vine right there. They're, this is a finer things in life, physical pleasures, king, smoking the best ganja, drinking the top shelf, whereas this guy, the king of wands, was more about looking around at who's, I don't want to say he could control, but it's like who he could get attention from. I feel like this is an, a growing up, manning up, I just heard. But we have a lot of King of Wands here, and we started King of Wands reversed, and then it went to King of Wands upright, and now I have King of Wands reversed again. But the difference to me is that first king looks young. My second king looks older. My third king, who I think has been kind of laid to rest and evolved into a king of pentacles, is the older version that's either to come or where you're at now, Gemini. This is double Gemini energy right here. Someone is... I don't want to say giving up on love, but they're giving up on um, casualness. They've given up on flings. They're not interested in anything if there isn't a connection there. And they're manifesting it. And I think I was going, I started saying something earlier of someone being so freaking like stubborn and set with their standards that they're like, I will stay single and on my own until someone comes and checks off every one of those lists. And I know that this is like, I want to feel sparks and magic and fireworks. And like, that's when I'll know that this is who I'm meant to commit to. But until then, I'm going to keep doing whatever I want to do. This is the person who's... Um, someone whose um, love, the love has been the healing wash of um, love to them and... Um, I think it, you, someone has helped the other person see themselves differently. Um, I think you may even help someone see things differently, Gemini. Because you are very smart and you can't be manipulated or lied to. Seems like it was very broad everywhere, Gemini. Um, if this rating resonates, please let me know. If it doesn't resonate, please check. It was 4747 when I just looked up at that, and that's the address that I grew up at, 47. I should do a video about, like, numbers that follow you, because that's one that follows me. 23 also follows me. On another note, maybe there's a Gemini that's like, bitch, yes, I know, 14's my number. If this doesn't resonate, check out the other signs in your chart. If this did super resonate, please check out the other signs in your chart because you will catch messages for yourself there and all your views help the channel grow. I will see you next time, Gemini. Have a great uh, next couple of days.